Everyone and welcome to the Friday Frothy back here on a Friday night and you might notice that I am uh, flying solo but uh, not for very much longer as uh, my little mate down here Glennie would say. <laughs> Guys, get on board, subscribe, make sure you're on tonight because uh, we've got a champion, the Bolt, Eric, the Bolt Matthews is coming on. He's an Australian uh, team champion. So get yourself a Frothy, sit down, watch the show and interact and talk with us. This is the Friday Frothy. Well, this is very interesting being here on my own, and uh, we've got a live audience this evening. G'day, live audience! Yay! Nice, nice. That's what we like to hear in the frothy bar. Here I am online. Now, guys, Glennie's not here tonight because he's out celebrating with a few friends in town. Um, if you're out in town and you see this ugly mug, go up and say hello. Say, hi, frothy, frothy. And uh, he'll probably punch you in the mouth, but that's Glenny. So, oh, no, he won't. He won't. He's, he's a Hawthorne supporter, and that's what they do. Woo Although my next guest, who is about to come in, is a Hawthorne supporter. So, Glenn, if you're watching this, and you probably are live, you're being replaced with a Hawthorne supporter, mate. So, how do you feel about that? Now, guys, if you don't know about the Friday Frothy, this is what we do. We talk about sport, and we do interviews nearly every week at the moment. And uh, I've just lined up another interview coming up, and I won't tell you his name. Well, maybe I will. It's Roger, what did I say, Porrell Sack? He's a, oh, yes, he's an ex-North Melbourne player, so happy about that. And I can talk because Glenn's not here. And uh, he played with a lot of the greats, as in uh, Malcolm Blight and Keith Gregg and Shimmerbush. So if you're a North Melbourne supporter, hang around. Not tonight, but in the next couple of weeks, we'll have Roger on. And he's going to tell some fantastic stories about what happened in the, the late 70s, early 80s. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Now, let's get the show on the road. As I said tonight, we've got... Uh, the Bolt, as he likes to be called, Eric Matthews. He's on the show. He's the Australian Team Masters Champion. And, uh, I'd 2016. Like, 2016. And uh, I'd like to welcome team, welcome The Bolt to the show, mate. Thank you very much for coming on, buddy. How are you? Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> Grab a seat, mate. Thank you. How are you? Bloody good. How are you going? Fantastic. Enjoying the, the lovely weather outside, mate. Glenn. Hey, oh, Glenn's got to go. See you, Glenny. <laughs> he looks good down there. <laughs> Glenny, gone. Go the Hawks, go. Glenny. Oh. I can't believe I've gotten rid of one Hawks supporter for another Hawks supporter. Oh, bloody hell. How, How are you, mate? How lucky are you? I am very, very lucky. Mate, uh, just first of all, there'll be a lot of people out there who say eight ball. What is eight ball? Is it, I mean, obviously we know snooker is snooker. We've got pool. We yep. play pool uh, in, the, in the pubs and stuff. Is that the same as eight ball? Yes, it it's is. the same in the pubs, but um, as you'll probably notice in the pubs now, they've got um, just yellow, red, and the black ball. Yep. yep. Yes, where the old days used to be unders and overs. Yep, bigs and smalls, bigs or and stripes and no and stripes. No stripes. Yep, yep, yep. So when you're playing, you're playing with the with the stripes? No. You're just, just colours? Yeah, just colours. They try to make go to snooker, Yep. and they've actually, with the white ball, they've got a red dot on it. Yep. And the only reason to put the red dot on it is for television, so when you can see the actual ball spinning. Yeah. Otherwise, with the white ball, you can't see it spinning. Okay. Yeah. I saw that last night. They showed yeah. um, some nine ball last night yep. on Foxtel because um, they couldn't have the surfing on, so they showed some of that. So I was, I was watching that, and pretty interesting, actually. So but you're a surfer? No. No. <laughs> well, I didn't think so. <laughs> well, a long time yeah, ago. Right. <laughs> but, uh, I think we're, 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 it, we're glad of it. Yeah. Was it those grey locks that gave it away? Yeah, well, no, they're, they're, they're blonde streaks, mate. They're not, they're not grey. Distinguished. That's, that's blonde streaks. Um, now, how long have you been playing pool for? Or uh, pool? Do you call it pool? Do you call it pool? Eight ball? Uh, pool. It, eight does, ball. it doesn't matter? Yeah. Okay. How long have you been playing for? Uh, 40 years. Yep. Four, oh. 40 years? Mm. Wow. And... Do you travel around? Yes. While you're playing, is that is that just Australia or is that worldwide? Or it is worldwide? worldwide, but I haven't represented Australia yet. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it will be happening. It will. Yeah. Okay. Sooner or later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're still playing competitively now. You yeah. Still said, play competitive because you said 2016 is is the the Australian Championships that you, that yes, you won. Yes, we won, and that was here in Tasmania in Launceston. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bloody yeah. sensational. So that, it's on YouTube. I've got 
because only a small mm. midget looked at the last one. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you're joking. laughs> That's all right. Nothing against right. midgets. <laughs> I'm a bit short myself. They're vertically weird. challenged. I am downstairs. It's all good. All right. Um, <laughs> what? No, sorry. Yes. Go on. Go on. No. <laughs> yeah. So, so the Australian Masters would travel around um, the country, obviously. So you play in different states. Yes. Yeah. yeah. At the moment, it's all played in Albury Wodonga. Yep. Um, but traditionally, it goes around the whole of Australia. Yep. Yep. Um, and we just fly there, play for two weeks. Tough job. Someone's got to do it. Yeah, and um, fly back. Just, just quickly for for Glenn, are you allowed to do this while you're playing? Um, no. Yes, you are. Yes, really. Mm. Okay, well, that's that's interesting. Because we a, a man's not a camel. No, we often. Oh no, he loves me. B <laughs> too. We often talk about. Um, I'm I'm very keen with darts. I love my darts, and uh, he often asks me the question. Glenn will say, you know, oh these guys that go around playing professional darts. Do you reckon they're allowed to drink when they're when they're playing? And I'm saying, no, no, I wouldn't think so. But but you're allowed to have a have a beer while you're out there. So yeah, because we're um no, you can't play while you while you shoot around the table. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yep, because you've got to step back and have a drink and then play your shot. And then you can go in. Yeah. Right. I saw um, I saw today, uh, as you were saying on YouTube, that there was a, a huge big hall and it was just full, I think, of about like 16 or 20 um, pool tables and everyone was sort of all playing yep. at once. So that's how it works. Yep. It is. So you've got Masters. Yep. You've got the open side. Yep. And then, which is the younger ones that aren't over... A certain age. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and, yes. <clears throat> and then you got the ladies. They all play separate. Yep. And we all go away together as a team. Yep. How does yep. how does a team team work? If you're in a team environment playing playing eight ball, how does that work? Is it just like I have my shot, and then you have if I sink a ball, and it's your go? No. 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 So you you've say you've got uh, say six people on the team. We play five lots of five. So everyone plays everyone. Oh, okay. So and you've got a, a spare. There's always someone you take away just in case. So you're still playing. Oh, like as a hard tackle. Yeah. <laughs> so you're still playing singles competition, but you're actually just playing in a in a group environment. Where yes. Every playing everyone. Yeah. So that sort of thing. Uh, right. So I thought it was sort of like everyone has a everyone lines up. You know, five people in a row, like Kelly pool or something. So. No, there is a game that's called Scotch, Scotch doubles. Okay. So you take shot by shot. Yep. I'll yep. explain that next time I come on the show. There you go. <laughs> there you go. He's coming back when he wins the 2019 Australian Masters. Hey, is I've that, got to make it yet. How, how does that happen? How do you get into it? Oh, you've got to qualify. Mm -hmm. Now, I haven't made it for the last two years. That's how hard it is. Yep. Because all these young fellas are getting older. Yep. And they've got better eyes than poor old blind old yep. Bolty here. Yep. But tomorrow I'll go up to Launceston. Yep. Be there will be screaming from Launceston. Come down to the um, Launceston Workmen's Club. Yep. And... All the um, youngish, oldies, farts like us will be playing off for the singles. So how Tasmanian many, singles. So how many people in that will go through? Well, one. Oh. You got to win it. And how many yeah. people are you play up against? Oh, uh, it's probably only about fifteen or something tonight. So still, still, yeah. a, still a fair, a fair thing. So. And then the following week, I have to put the Launceston Workmen's Club in because they do it pretty tough up there playing yep. bloody pool. I think they everyone. I think everyone does in Launceston, don't they? <laughs> Love yous, but yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've, I've yeah so I spent, I spent, a, I spent a lot of time up there, and and you don't see it very often in winter. It's just covered in fog. So, but nah, she's a lovely place. Lovely it's place. old. Yeah, it is old. It is old. But, yeah. A hole. Oh, hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you don't love you. Tourism, tourism, Tasmania. You're, uh, you come and come and spend a day and come back down over. But anyway, <laughs> we do have some viewers that, that uh, actually view in, in Lonnie. So, That's good. Or as Glenn would say, lawn, what does he say? Lawn, lawn, Seston, lawn, Seston. Mm. Uh, but anyway, I love my one. <laughs> they do. <laughs> um, now, what what was it like to win the Australian Masters? I mean, uh, is is it? Where are you at the peak of your thing? Oh, wow, I've I've made it to where I want to be. Or yep. where where do you want to go? Where are you taking this this game? Where do you want to take it? Well, if I don't do anything else in my life, I potted the black to win that night. Okay. Yep. And otherwise, it's going to go to a draw, and then you pick three players and you have to play against each other. Yep. Yep. And it's on YouTube if you want to look at it. 
We will. We will. Actually, if I had known that, we would have got some footage out. Can oh, I was going to bring it down. Do that? We can. Uh, yeah, just. Yeah, oh, we'll sort that out later. Yeah. We're busy. Okay. Yeah. Because <laughs> that would be cool. I'm doing a fix over here, so it's. A... Um, what are you doing? She's fixing. Well, nice. I like. The, <laughs> no, I like no, the lady fixing. Commenting fixes. again tonight, unfortunately. So. What do you mean? It is. No commenting again. We're having problems. Um, mate, what uh, it, after winning a tournament like that, the Australian Masters, does that does that open up doors to go into bigger tournaments such as um, like any like a world event or, or a big major Australian event or um, in Tasmania, we've got the killer crossover, mm -hmm. and that means everyone comes down from interstate, all the best players, and they play off for say twenty grand. And it's all tax free, yep. but it gets higher in the bigger states because that's all we can generate. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. But um, two of the blokes that I played with, who've won, have gone and represented Australia. Yep. And one of my mates has won the World Masters wow. Championship. Really? Who's that? He lives in Bernie. Who's that? Do you know his name? Oh, no, I'll, I'll put you on the spot, sorry. No, no, it's easy. It's Stubbsy, Wayne Stubbs. Wayne Stubbs, there you go. Yeah, Wayne Stubbs. So he's Good boy, he's our one. captain. Yep. And yep. my mate that I room with all the time, um, Greg Laurie, yep. lives in Sorrell. Yep. He won the Australian Master, he went and represented Australia last year. Yeah, okay. In, yeah. The, in the 2018. 2018, yeah. Very good. Excellent. 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 Now, yeah, mate, I, I, before we uh, before we started, I actually... Give us some noise, come on. Yeah. woo <laughs> woo um, so you get their party, yeah. you know, party <laughs> nervous, you can tell. Nervous? It's only live, come on, oh, no. it's all good, mate. Um, anything, I, we, we spoke about this before we before we started, anything funny or interesting comes to your mind that's happened, like if you accidentally knocked a bloody pool ball in someone's head or into their glass of beer or snapped a cue stick over someone's head or... Well, I'm usually pissed when that happens, so <laughs> I can't really remember. <laughs> I've had a few shots where, um, you know, you got the light over the yes over the table. Yep, yep. And we are playing up in Mount Nelson. And I went to screw back, and I went too deep. Yeah. And it went in through the light, down, hit the ball and potted it. <laughs> it was an accident, so it's not a foul shot. Okay. Because you're not allowed to jump a ball. Yeah. So I was going direct for it, so. Yep. Yeah. Now, listen, I've, I've got this written down here. It's, it's, it's later on, but I'll talk about it now. I saw something last night, it was an interview, that they were talking about a... Is there such a thing as a jump cue? So an actual cue yes. that, that helps you jump yeah. the ball? Yeah. yeah. How does that work? <coughs> well, there's two ways to jump the ball. You can go at the bottom and, Underneath. Just, and just flick it up. Yep. Or you get the little jump cue and it on the top. Yep. And it bounce over. Okay. And that's what those um, trick shot people do. They they get the little cue out and go... Tuff, 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 yep. And just... Jump the balls, yeah. And are you allowed to use that in... Um... No. <laughs> no. 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 No, there's no jumping balls. No jumping balls. No. Okay. That's just more for tricks nowadays. Yeah. Yep. Mate, um, how often do you practice? Do you, do you play all the time? Is it just a, a, you know, when you're not competing, are you just playing for fun? Or is it sort of like, uh, I could be bothered on play, you only practice when you're coming into, you know, to a tournament? Or how do you go? Do you it's, a, it's a funny thing because... I practice every day. Okay. And the only reason I practice every day is because where the bar fridge is is the pool table. <laughs> so when I go and get a drink, I have it on the pool table. He's just like Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> and yep. my mates come over, or I go to their place, everyone's got pool tables mm -hmm. in, in our in our room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So we go over there and we have serious pool games. Yeah. And we do races to 11. So yep. once you've won, you start another race to 11. Okay. That's all more pride <laughs> rather than... Yep. Yeah. So normal competition is nine, isn't it? Is that right, or is that nine ball? So no, first eight. first or not? It's first eight, is it? No, no, no. no, no. To normal win, competition, eight, eight games to win. No, no. In A grade, because you've got A, B, and C grade. Mm. In A grade, it's thirty-two games. We start at seven thirty, and we usually finish by about ten. Wow. Really? Yeah, but the blokes you play in A grade is they can break. And you don't get a shot. And that's yeah. called a master break. Yeah. Or the opposite way around. If they break an iPod out, it's the same thing. But it's not a master break because you didn't break them yourself. Yeah, okay. They just left it all open. So yeah. you just don't miss. Not all the time. I'm, wow. 
I should. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll right. have tomorrow, suckers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have to keep us informed how you go anyway. So, I will. I will. Um, yeah, if you can let I'll us know. I'll see this Friday night anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> get on, get on the, the Friday Frothy Facebook page and if you can let us know how, you, how you're travelling, so that'd be great. I'm obviously not where you're playing, but... Uh, Glenn is a townie tonight. So is, is are we working? Hello, Renee. How are you going? It's intermittent. It's intermittent. I believe we're having a little bit of problems Telstra, with our... Telstra is having all sorts of issues. Oh, I believe yeah. that's what the problem is. Yeah. Well, there you go, so guys. Everything else is fine. The settings are all good. So, so if you um, can, you're out there watching, guys, and you've got a, if you've got a question that you want to ask, uh, Eric, the Bolt... Was that Renee? Oh, no, Renee's uh, Lear's sister oh. up yep. in... I've been playing with Renee. Oh, okay, no, no, no. Renee. Oh, God. <laughs> um, right, right. Um, yeah, so if you've got a question for the Bolt here, let us know if you want to know anything about the game of 8-ball or, or how it works or you know any tricks of the trade. Let us know. Now, talking about tricks of the trade, mate. I've got a face. So I can Google it if I get none to trouble. Oh, I tell you what, I, I want to know this, and I'm sure the guys that are here do. Um, you ever been a pool shark? So you go into a pub or something like that and who wants yes. a game you put your couple of yes. dollars up and come yeah. on cut. you have yeah you have right but i've got a bit older so i don't worry about it anymore because because you can afford it. your own beers <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> so what li listen seriously because this this does happen well in the, the 80s people I, get swindled right in the 80s when i first started we always just played for beers yep and back in the day at the shoreline hotel which is just up the road yep used to have pool two pool tables one was for beer, one was for money. Mm -hmm. So you, we want a beer, you play for a beer over there. Yep. And uh, me, my brother and my sister were playing two people and we had beers lined up everywhere. And me, my brother and my sister just kept swapping. Same thing in Olveston. Yep. Went up to Olveston, in the middle pub. He goes, he won the Calcutta down at the bottom pub in Olveston. But it was my twin brother. Oh, really? So I had me two sisters with me, and they're pool sharks too. Yeah. Yep. So we play all night. So, so, so how come your whole family are pool sharks? Is this just something that you've all just done it's as, a, pool as a table family, and, and you just played and played and played <laughs> yeah. for your whole life? No, we just like playing pool. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I can go on forever. So yeah, you've got to be careful. No, how, long, how long we got? Oh, usually about an hour. Oh, cool. <laughs> no, no, it's just no. right. Um, so do you, do you do the old uh, the hustler sort of thing where you throw off for a couple of games? Yeah. And then you, yeah. You oh, actually I do have done that. Oh, look out for him, <laughs> mate. Oh. No, so, I have done it. You have? Yeah. And can you, can you actually win money while you're doing that, or is it just usually just beers? Ah, money. You do win money? Yeah. People put money up? Yeah, beers are beers. Yeah. No one likes losing a beer. Yeah. And no, people don't mind paying a beer. Yeah. And then they just give up. Yeah. And then you buy them a beer back. Yeah. Because you've won enough off them to buy them a beer back. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. And they I go, do. oh, you little beauty. Oh, he's bought me a beer back. Happy I, days. I, I do have a little story. What, what do I do with Glenn? Yeah. Oh. I, he's over here with me. Oh, can, oh. I, can I have him over here? Because I've, I've got a little story. Because Glenn, Glenn will appreciate this. That, uh, right, you mate. We, um, Glenn and I and, and a group of his friends used to go up to Bridport and play Bamboogle every year mm -hmm. and uh, we were up there and, and Glenny and I hit the, the table and he can't play and, and I can't play and uh, can. well yeah we well we, we're undefeated we beat okay. absolutely everyone and I reckon we must have played 10 15 games and no Perfect. one could beat us so well done Glenny you're uh, you're in you're in good good form here with uh, with the bolt but anyway you're not so um, anyway <laughs> See you, Glenny. You right there, Glenn? He's just Hawthorne. He's Boy, Hawthorne. down there, son. He's Hawthorne. <laughs> Mate, um, just on that, are you a fan oh, of snooker? <laughs> yes, love snooker. Yep. I used to play it back in the um, 80s and 90s. But uh, snooker's sort of dying trade. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. Because in the Workman's Club, there used to be two pool tables and six <laughs> snooker tables. Yeah. Yep. Now it's 15... Pool tables, yep, and nice one snooker table, yep, yeah, because yeah. pool's just taken off, so yeah, okay. yeah, it's, yeah. It's a, yeah. yeah it's we all good over there, guys. Yeah, just yeah. hitting the button again out there, and yep, mm. yep. Mm. Um, so you reckon snooker's dying? That's that's sad to hear, actually. Well, yeah. it's not dying. Yeah, but it's just not as popular because, as it used to be. Um, one of my mates, Alex Pace, yep, uh, he's actually representing Tasmania in eight ball. Mm -hmm. He was uh, under, was he? Under 19's world pool player. Yep. And he plays snooker as well. And he's represented Australia for snooker and 
can't be mates at Rip Team. Yeah. They still play pool as well. So, so, so obviously being, being... It's sort of just not as popular, no, put it that way. But being a champion at, at eight ball or pool, it's it's just straight away, it's adaptable to go into another table and just play snooker and you're still just as good because you... No. It's not. No. It's not the same skill set. No. Not the same. Well, different yeah. stance. Yeah, okay. Really? Different shoe sometimes. Really? Yeah. Different stance. Yeah. Well, can you tell us a bit more now? Well, stance? It's hard to explain because... <laughs> With a pool table, it's only seven by three and a half. Yep. With a snooker table, it's twelve foot. So it's the full size. By six yeah. foot. Right. So you're not playing. You're not playing pool and, on the big tables. And no, no. Right. We're, we're in the pub tables. Right. So we got a smaller white ball. Yep. And a, a big object ball. Yep. So you're screwing back and using the side and all that on a on an eight ball table, but on a snooker table, the object ball's bigger than the white with the other ball. Is that right? So you use more top all the time because it's harder to screw back because the ball's bigger. So when it hits it, it's not gonna. Not that you can't. Mm, mm. If you're close enough, you can get a bit of. But when you watch the snooker, you see them always doing top and side off cushions and everything like that, rather than screwing back. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Now just um. <laughs> it's a bit technical. But no, not, no, no. That's yeah. interesting. That's, that's, that's what I what I wanted to <clears throat> wanted to find out. Um, now, with your your pool playing or snooker playing, is is there money to be made in this, or is it just like a is it well a a is it professional or b are you out there getting paid for doing what you're doing? No, no. no. Yep. There, uh, there is professional snooker. Yep. Um, for the ones that go up elite. Yes. But we pay our five bucks a week to play, which goes into a kitty for fundraising and all that sort of stuff so yep, yep. we don't there's no professional at all yeah, okay yep. and yep government government while i'm here yes we're not classed as a sport that's sad that is sad now uh, if, uh, if you ask the audience or anyone is there anyone in australia who's over the age of 18 hasn't had a game of pool no you wouldn't think so and we're not classed as a sport Prof. so we can't get oh, no oh. Assistance off the government so, at all. So you. Do they, do they have it in the Olympics? No. 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 You must they be. As, you must be no, as, as annoyed as I am. Mm. And look, we have a week, we have a segment mm-hmm. on the show called Out with It. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but it's it's things that annoy us and get on our goat during the week. Mm. And I had one the other week that um, I my background's temp and bowling. All right, so I've worked in temp and bowling for most of my life and um, played the sport not at, a, at an elite level, but um, you know enjoyed it. And the fact that temp and bowling is not regarded as a sport, and they can't, yeah, exactly, they can't get that into the Olympics, and they've just announced that breakdancing is going to get into the Olympics. Now, how the hell, no, how the no. hell does breakdancing get into the Olympics before a game of eight ball or, or temp and bowling? I don't know. I need a pen. Yeah, it's, it's not good. It's not good. So, yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? It is annoying. So... Another thing, mm. I'm, I'm allowed to do this. You've got the highlight of the night. I, I I'm game boying, right? I don't know what you're. That's in the Olympics. So. Yes, yes, I know. So, how fit you have to be? You have to have the fattest thumbs in the world. Yeah, yeah. Playing playing games is now an Olympic sport. So, <laughs> it's uh, breakdancing and, and playing sports, uh, playing games. It's just 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 crazy. We've got so many sports out there that you know, should be recognised and and. Anyway. But you can't get no yeah, like with the ten minute bowling, no. And face slapping chest. Well, that's your <laughs> side of the show, isn't it? Or, or you're on sports. But anyway, now listen. <laughs> I was I was watching um, as I said before. I was watching. There was nine ball on Fox last night, and um, it was it was quite incredible to watch the uh, just the way that they can spin the ball and snooker and and just was that American. Uh, it was a world, so I was watching yeah. Spain versus Thailand. This game that I was watching. You sure it was nine ball? Yeah. So well, there was only nine balls on yeah, the table. Yeah, it was. Yeah, a, it was yeah. a triangle. Just checking. Um, <laughs> he, did, he did actually count them, Eric. He actually went. I did. One, two, I did. I did. <laughs> and he went nine. nine. <laughs> but nine. But, I, but I've just, I've just got to say that the the talent of of being able to place that that white ball where you want it to go. I mean, that's that's an art, isn't it? It is. That's, an art. that's the whole part of the game, and it? it's yeah. just. Yeah, positions everything. So it's not about you know it's not about getting up there and just potting the ball that you're aiming at. It's it's the follow through of where that that white ball is going to end up, so I yep. can get the next shot. Yeah. So there you go. It's it's just incredible. Um, just while we're on that, how important is the chalk? 
we all go, you know, we're all in the in the in the pub and we're all chalking our cues. That's probably not looking real good, but we're all chalking our cues. How important to a to a player like you is chalk? Well, there's that many different types of chalk, and they always try on different ones. I just stick to the same old bloody chalk, no dramas. Mm. But you've got to make sure because what happens is when you hit the ball all the time, like anything, like a pebble with water run over it or the road gets all shiny mm. so you've got to rough the tip up okay. so the chalk sticks yep otherwise no, when you hit it you're going to miss cue see and, and unbelievably we're hitting <laughs> like the lowest <laughs> <laughs> that's their problem the not, audience that's your problem we're talking about eight ball here <laughs> not, not mis- your tips mis- <laughs> you're, uh, you're miss um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so anyway <laughs> not that frothies mm. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, and it's so important, and it's all technique too, because if you stab into a ball, yep, you're more likely to hit it like that. Yep, you got to follow through, like golf, like anything. You got to follow through. So you hit the ball, any sports, got to and the cue through. follows through. Yep, and then that does the business. So yeah, you okay. can't. Sometimes you have to yep. do jerky shots, and where you where you, you where you hit the ball. <laughs> where, where you hit the ball is where how it spins either yep. that way or that way or, or backspin or but when you're screwing back you hit the opposite side of the ball to get it to go the other way yeah so because yep. as it's spinning back it's a, it'll come out this way mm, mm. yeah can it sure I can't believe it's not a sport well it sort of is we all regard it as a well, sport no, no, but, not, but it's not seen as no, a it's not recognised and yeah, we just what I mean mm. Hobart Workman's Club mm. and I only found out two weeks ago that um, they put in for to get less um, rates. Yep. Oh, sh- oh, actually, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I'm saying it. Hey, look, breaking news here on the breaking Friday volley. Yes. To get less rates. Yes. And the government said no. They've been fighting in court for 12 months. Yep. To try and get reduced rates because it's a sportsman's club. Yep. Mm-hmm. And because it's not classed as a sport eight ball, the rates are still 15 grand a year instead Is of. Is that right? True. It, I it Only found out for the present. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, it's the truth. Okay. Well, I always tell the truth. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, well, do, sort I, of. I, do, I do too, as a North Melbourne supporter. I can't, Go do, any, I can't do anything but tell the truth. You're lying, buddy. I am. I am. Um, now, mate, uh, we've already discussed what size tables you play on, but um, with your being so good at this particular sport, and I, I, I normally find. Can you say that again? Being so good at this particular sport. <laughs> oh, guys, Hawthorne, Hawthorne, Hawthorne. Go I don't have any Hawthorne. Oh, no? I'm from Tasmania. You too heard it. Stop it. Now. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> most most people, now that we're starting to interview people and, and sports people, such as yourself, sports people, um, what we're seeing to find is is that um, if you can play a sport and you can play it at the top level, you're usually gifted in any sport that you play. And I'm I'm exactly like that, except I'm mediocre at all sports. Mediocre. Mediocre. Yeah. That's Is that a, what you put on your face. It's a, indigenous. No, it's a it's a vegetable. <laughs> okra is a vegetable. Oh, yeah. It's okra. okra. Thank you, Liz. Yeah. That's why you're in this in the audience. I prefer <laughs> I prefer aubergine. Yeah, aubergine. Yeah. yeah, bit old zucchini. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, like, I I'm I'm a. Um, a middle of the road sports person and if I want to be good at something like bowling or darts or football I've got to play and practice every single day and then you've got other people who just don't practice that much but they're just good they're good at that yep. so what I'm asking you the question is is uh, any other sports interests that you that you into have you play other sports are you gifted with anything else or is it just you're 100% focused with with eight ball because you just practice every day that's a hard question no it's not it's not <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm like you. Yep. you got to work hard. Cray. Good at everything. Cray. <laughs> Good at everything, but not brilliant. Yes. Eight ball, I've, I never used to have to practice, but yep. um, I refuse to wear glasses. Yep. So now I'm like this. Yep. No, they're not touching. <laughs> just, anyway. I just, I just want to... Yeah, so I, I do practice hard with eight ball. Yeah. I just yeah. want to throw this in for you because um, Gary Anderson, he's a Scotsman who plays darts. I don't know if you've heard of him or not. 
He's uh, probably second in the world to Michael Van Gerwen, and he's just started playing with glasses, and he is now just playing mm. unbelievable darts. So you probably should have a look at it. Mm. It might make all the <laughs> Go difference. To Go to Specsavers. because <laughs> it make it might make all the difference in the world. So anyway, but yeah. So what other sports are you interested? In? What are you, you golf? You play golf? Yeah. You good at it? Uh, was, but I can't at the moment. Yep. That's yep. another story. Yep. Yep. And just and just one more story. That's that's about all I've got for you. But just one more one more quick story. I oh, know we've got the whole show to go yet. Oh, cool. One one more story uh, that I've just heard when you arrived this evening. You've just flown back from where? Uh, Sydney. From Sydney. This was a sport related, was it? Oh, going... no, it was going to be sport related. But... Yep. Glenn. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'll just get ahead of myself. Glenn. <laughs> Buddy, Glenn. Hey, not only is he the Australian champion in eight ball, he's a comedian. <laughs> it never used to be. No, well, it, it, comes, it must be the frothy, I reckon. It's the grey hair. <laughs> it's the grey hair. It must be the, the Friday frothy. Let's talk about your trip today, mate, because uh, there's a bit of a funny story, I believe. Oh, it was bloody sensational. The weather was beautiful. Yes. My wife's beautiful. No. <clears throat> so anyway, <laughs> we flew into Hobart. Yes. Freezing cold. It is. It walking is off. Freezing down here, ladies and gentlemen. Freezing. So I'm well, there all rugged up, snuck in, got there. Next you know, some undies, socks, and trousers were going around the carousel. <laughs> and every <laughs> that's right. This is what happens. Everyone's going, I've never seen this before in my life. This and is I'm what going, happens in Hobart. I said, shit there, mommy. Oh, so no. anyway, I waited to got to this is a true story. Oh, no. Waited got to right in the carousel. Someone's opened your bulletin board. Uncle Pete was there, he can there. So I buddy I picked him up, they go, they're yours. <laughs> and I'll go, ooh, ooh, ooh. No, they're not mine. The big so seat. anyway, I I put them over there, then my bag come out and it's there. Oh no. It was munted. Oh no, that is one of the best words words ever in it. Munton, I just love Munton. Anyway, tell him what Ali said. Lucky. <laughs> yes. Can I say it? I don't know no, if you can. No, yeah. no, no, no. you probably no. can't. No. You probably can't. It's probably still rolling around on the on the carousel. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. We, we probably should leave that it one there. But... It didn't go very far. It just kept going backwards. It was like it was on. <laughs> Guys, just put a padlock on your suitcase, all right? <laughs> because I wrote me son. He said you should strap it on. <laughs> no, no, strap the suitcase on me, and it won't come apart. There you go. Well, mate, I just got to say thank you so much for coming oh, no, in. Oh, sweet it, it has been great. And look, I, I, I don't know about you guys out there in the audience or out at an, at an YouTube land, but I've actually learned a bit about eight ball tonight and, and how it works and everything. So I appreciate that. Um, you're gonna sit. You're gonna stick around for the rest of the show. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little Baldy. Well, there you go. So Baldy's gonna stay for the rest of the show, guys. I hope you've enjoyed and uh, you've learnt a little bit about eight ball. Al, if you want to go to a quick little break yep. for our sponsor, Corey's Ga uh, Corey's Garden Landscaping. I don't know what I'm going there, but uh, okay. anyway, thank you. G'day guys, it's Jeff here from the Friday Frothy. I'm here with uh, Corey from Corey's Garden and Landscaping, our major sponsor for the Friday Frothy. And I'm... We're back, we're back, we're back. So thanks for being around, mate. Jesus. Appreciate they, it. They all come back to Brawl Cream. It's, uh... <laughs> mate, so there's one. We're just, we're just refrothering, guys, so uh, thank you very much. Um, guys, just to let you know, Alex Peroni, who we interviewed on the Friday Froth. Did you know Alex Peroni? You heard of him? He's a former... Well, I like drinking Peroni. Well, there you go. So you, you're all over this plate. He's 19-year-old, Alex Peroni. He's been on the show, actually in the bar, interviewed him. He races Formula 3 wow. overseas. Yep. Oh, yes. I have heard of him. Yes. Yes. Um, he will be Australia's next Formula Formula 1 race car driver. No doubt about it. Um, the guy is a champion. Just let you know that he's racing this weekend. So I think it's... hope I get this right. Quarter past six on Foxtel tomorrow afternoon and Sunday afternoon. So Alex, tune in. Alex Prony, tune in, guys. And that is at Silverstone. So I think he's a bit of a fan of that circuit. So hopefully he does well. Mate, do you watch the Rugby League? I was in Sydney. 
So is that league? It is league. Oh, cool. League. <laughs> you get in trouble for that all the time. <laughs> Rugby league. I was actually going to go and get some tickets to that. Yeah, the state of origin. Because we're in, in Sydney. Yep. End up watching on telly. Yes. I wish I had a went now. It was a cracker of a game. Oh, <gasps> mate, what a game. Absolute but cracker of a game. And in the hotel, the telly's about as big as that. Oh, Corey's shaking his head. What's that all about? What's up, What's up mate? Ryan's got rolled. Oh, Moran's got robbed. <laughs> got robbed. Mate, let me tell you, I um I watched the watched the game, same as you, and getting down to the last ten minutes I thought, oh, this is gone, we're gone. Queen because I'm ex Queenslander, I thought, gone. New South Wales is in the bag and then Queensland scores two quick tries. How cool is that? We're we're looking at a golden point and then, then um I don't know if you've heard this or not, but I'll I'll read it out to you. But obviously Whoa! Obviously <laughs> Tedesco oh, scores oh, scores the winning it. the winning try. <laughs> Have you heard this? Daily Cherry Evans has admitted that uh, the Maroons botched it and he's blaming Mumbai. He reckons that uh, he made a, a, a break and then when he went to play the ball he was too slow. And that got uh, New South Wales back on track and then they got it and if you're gonna blame Mumbai, he must have got bombed. Well, bad, well, Mumbai. That's where they make curries. Anyway. <laughs> Did they um, get the <laughs> well, don't know where I'm going with that. Yeah, anyway. We'll but 20, 26 to 20, New South Wales win. Congratulations to New South Wales and your supporters. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's a bit harsh for the captain of Queensland to be blaming it on one particular person for the loss. So, yeah, it's a, it's a bit, bit dodgy. But James Tedesco had the fantastic game. It was either him or Munster. Munster played well for Queensland. Um, and he won the Wally Lewis medal. Yeah. Which they reckon he was ripped off because he should have won it last year yes, as well. Yes, I agree. So, so yeah. he should have been back-to-back. Wally Lewis's, but uh, he didn't. He's won this year and people are still making... A bit of a scene about it and jumping up and down, but anyway. but yeah, mate, it was a it was a fantastic game, and um, I'm I'm actually you know from AFL background and to watch how hard these guys hit, and you just think how the hell do these guys not get hurt, man? And they, keep doing it for yeah, eighty minutes. Yeah, they they absolutely are just insane, absolutely insane. But the worst part about it was if Hannah got that try, it would have been got golden point. Yes. And yes. I don't agree with the golden point because mm. it's just a, a drop kick through the goals. Well, yeah. You understand what I'm saying, but yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know about it. Soccer's the the same, golden point can just yeah. finish and penalties. Yeah. In AFL, it's a draw and you're playing in next week. That's how it should be. Yeah. That's Thank how it should you very be. much. Soccer's Cheers the same. Soccer's the same. You know, when they. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nil all draw. I hope there's no soccer oh, supporters party here. Time. You've just watched 80, minutes, 80 minutes of football to have a <laughs> any climax of zero zero, <laughs> and then it's sort of it's all on the on the, the goalkeeper to, yeah. to save the match, and you think you poor bugger, you know, no wonder. You know. So but that's soccer. Um, now <laughs> let's let's now Glenn's not here, so I can talk a bit of North Melbourne tonight because he doesn't like it when I talk a lot of North Melbourne. But I'm going to start off with some Hawthorne news, right? Might, oh, might, cool. Might He's about to bite you. <laughs> Glenny, hello, Glenny, you're back, mate. Right? Hey, Glenny. Hello. Now, now, Glenn is travelling to Launceston, same as you tomorrow, but he's going to watch Fremantle play in Hawthorne up at Utah Stadium. If you're watching, Glenn, can I get a ride? <laughs> Here you go. There you go. I'm talking about to Launceston. <laughs> That's dirty. Um, <laughs> Stop it. Mate, Grant Birchall, are you a fan? Tasmanian boy? Yes. He's back. He's back. Yeah, back. The Birch is back, and this is his first Birch? game uh, in 741 days. So, Glenn himself said, oh, well. he said Birch won't get back. He won't get back, and he has. And uh, his last AFL game was in round 15, 2017, before rupturing his PCL. Now, I've heard of ACL. What's a PCL? I don't want a PCL. It's obviously a pectoral. It's pretty long. It's a <laughs> pectoral. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mm. So, an ortho, or ortho, yeah, ortho. You're so, mm. you're so linguistic tonight. Yeah, it's a bit like Liz. Remember Liz Smiley? Liz. Yes. Liz. No. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I shouldn't be like that. I eat extra. I, I am, actually. <laughs> um, you've also got uh, Chad Wingard back. This is not stuttering mate. like Max Headroom. Yeah. Ma- 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 <laughs> so, Chad Wingard. Glenny, if you're out there watching, mate, Chad Wingard is back in your team, and so is Grant Birchall, whether he gets a game or not. Wingard will go well. So. Um, he's missed four matches due to a hamstring injury. So Wingard, so you were happy with that uh, that move? Yes. Wingard coming from Port. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay, mate. Uh, well, mm? We had to do something. Yeah. Well, what are you? Let's... Yeah, and that's why Hawthorne's so good because we 
We've got a genius case Here we are. that just <coughs> brings it in, brings Talk it in. It up. It's the like record. It's like nothing's changed. <laughs> the record is the. Re- <laughs> yeah, yeah. The record is the record. He's bloody identical. Did you hear me? <laughs> four, four P. No other team get a four P except for Brisbane. But anyway, yeah, but Brisbane. I know. Different. I know. Um. Oh, what was I going to say? I was going to talk about Hawthorne then. Uh, no. Uh, now, I was. <laughs> Everyone's saying, you know, I'm not talking to Glenn now, I'm talking to the Bolt. Everyone's saying that Hawthorne... Oh, hello! <laughs> you rang? Is that him? Is it no, it's not. Should I, should I answer it? Answer it. it. All right, I'm going to answer it. I'm going to put Tyler Mate on. Hang on. Because... Hello, Mick. You're live on the Friday Frothy. How you going, mate? Hello? Mick? Mick. <laughs> he's a Hawthorne supporter as well, so that's probably why he's ringing. Mick, <laughs> No. Alright, hang on. No. And that was Dollar Mate. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's call him back. <laughs> We're ringing you back, Mickey hang boy. Hang on, we're again. Tennis. Phone tennis. Are you there, Mick? Sorry, mate, I'm having mega problems with my phone, buddy. I'll call you back later. Telstra. Telstra. <laughs> there you go. So he, he's, he's a Hawthorne supporter as well. So if you're watching me. Um, but what I was going to quickly say was that uh, everyone's saying that Hawthorne's back at a rebuilding phase. Do you believe that's true? No. Here he comes again. You don't? No. This is very unusual for our show. We don't normally do this. Can you hear me this time? No, mate. Problems with Telstra, buddy? <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Sucker. (laughs) 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 Sorry, Mick. (laughs) So you don't think they're rebuilding? They don't need to rebuild. You reckon you've got... We are the Hawthorne. I'm the Bolt. They're the (laughs) Hawthorne. They're the Hawks. I think they're in trouble. (laughs) I I, I think they're all my age, mate. So, what, 30, 30 30 odd? (laughs) <laughs> Alright, let's get on to something really serious Let's uh, let's get on to something serious Let's, let's talk, talk about the Hawks Let's talk Carlton oh. Cripps and Mackay are back You got them back this weekend to play Sydney Alright uh, But you have lost a couple of others So <laughs> Come on Have no. you got anything you, got anything you want to you say about Carlton, mate? No, we're going well you doing Come right. on, Corey we're, building. we're looking good for next year you're up there. I think you are too I think you are too. I think you'll be all right. Now, just uh, news out this week, mate, just for Carlton supporters, that uh, coach. David coach. Teague, the uh, the interim coach of Carlton, has been told that we're not after someone to babysit. They want someone experienced. Ooh. So this has come from Sad. Chris. Sad, four games, two and two. Yeah, this has come from Chris Judd, which I think is a problem at your club. Mm-hmm. I've got to tell you right now. Um, he's made the call that, uh, yeah, we want someone. Clarkson. Well. We heard that little rumour. It could be a possibility. It could be a possibility. But, uh, so at least if you take Clarkson, we'll get a new coach. And, and it's a rebuild. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, come on. Come on. He wasn't that bad. He wasn't that bad. You're right. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> now. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that, that is true. You heard that, that, didn't you? I have heard that rumour. Max, and I broke that news how long ago? Wow. Well, it was a few weeks. It was a few weeks. Yes, yes. Max Gorn returns this week after his ankle injury. Big Max. Oh, Big Max. He's back against the Bulldogs on Sunday. And Essendon. Oh, she's gone out. She's gone outside. They're both Essendon supporters. They're both. Late. Essendon plays North Melbourne um, this Saturday. I don't know if it's night or, or evening. But De- uh, Dyson Heffel, he's still out with his foot, so he won't be. Uh, he won't be playing. He's failed to prove his fitness. So now. Yeah. Here's some interesting news, mate. I don't know if you follow anything on the North Melbourne Football Club, but um, Todd Goldstein's coming out of contract, our ruck, at the end of this year. So North Melbourne have got their eye on the Port Adelaide youngster Peter Laddams. He's a he's a tall second second goer ruckman for Port. So we don't have any stocks in ruckman since we got rid of Braden Proust. Tomorrow. No, you haven't. So we've lost Majak, obviously. Uh, are you thinking about swapping Goldstein, or no, no, no? Well, he's he's going to be a free agent at the end of the year. So if wow. he goes, we've got no one. 
and uh, there are a few teams who are actually looking Jeez, at the So yeah. <laughs> I don't think yeah, yeah, uh, he hasn't sort of um, hit the heights that he did a couple of years ago when he was all Australian. Tall enough. Mm, well, he is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like I, I, I talked to him in the, the airport the other day. But uh, um, just while I said, Magic Door, um, he returned to VFL last week, which we reported here, and uh, he's come out unscathed. He didn't play much of the game. But, uh, but I think it's amazing he's actually back. It's amazing he's alive, mate. Yeah, well, especially when he jumps off a bridge. Yeah, he's alive. Oh, we've got someone just... Renee's just said go to the Bombers, so yeah. you can hear us out there. Yes, Renee says everything's fine. I asked her before. Ah, okay. oh, Renee! Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, mate, anything else you want to talk about AFL other than Hawthorne? <laughs> oh, you're a hard man. <laughs> <laughs> My twin brother's... Um, <laughs> oh, I can't play it. Uh-huh. He's probably not watching. My twin brother's is Collingwood. So, we don't talk about <laughs> I know, I know, I know, but I've got to do this. Glenn's brother. Because he's off, off his head. Glenn's brother is Collingwood. Oh, serious? Yeah. Mick, Mickey's brother is Collingwood. <laughs> so you've got Hawthorne in your own head. Oh, this is crazy. So my twin brother is Collingwood. So anyway, this we is... always have a carton of beer yep. on Hawthorne Collingwood. So do these guys. A, um... Thank you very much. Yep. So I'm very thirsty, Scotty. You're about 30 cartons up. That's right, and I still have a beer out of him. Fair he me. comes to my place on Saturday night and drinks all the beer and all the cider he had in my fridge. Yep. Mrs. comes home, who drank all my cider? Okay. Anyway, don't put that on bloody life. Oh, it's life. It is. It is yeah. life. Love you, darling. We can't say that out. I hope you're watching. We'll so, cut it out later. But we can't. No, no, no. Why no, <laughs> we can't? Leave it on. You're in trouble. That's why I'm the foe. That's why you're the bolt. Because you're, well, you're in trouble. You're on the Me next door neighbour calls me the foe. All right. Now, did you watch any? Do you watch? <laughs> did you watch any of the World Cup? Did you watch the game last night? Anyone? Did anyone yes. watch the World Cup last night? No. Yes. Yeah, how long? How long did you stay with it for? About an hour. Oh, I turned it over. I watched it up to two hundred and seventeen runs. Yes, yes, food. Sorry, more interesting. Was on night shift. Watched it all. You saw it all, didn't you? Yeah. Wow. I was watching, watching Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. Where would you watch that? Yes. <laughs> I was sitting in between. Um, Ramsay and. Um, <sighs> And can going, can someone turkey. can someone tell me when you've got a batsman who is absolutely on fire? It's not because he's Tasmanian, but you've got an, a batsman uh-huh. who, who is absolutely on fire. He is smashing. He's got a hundred and eighty strike rate. Um, he's hit hundred after hundred after hundred. And uh, hey, oh, my phone's not working. Um, can we borrow yours? <clears throat> yeah, put him on loudspeaker. He's going live now. We're going live. Let's put him on li- on loudspeaker. Uh, hold on, hold on, you kept going on live now. But yeah, can you believe that? They they put oh, Hanscom in. Let's go to the toilet. So I cast things with him. Hmm? Clevo! Who's that? That's, uh, that's the Jeff Meister, mate. That's the Jeff Meister. How you going, mate? Good, buddy. I'd like to introduce you to the Bolt, Eric. Hang on, mate. Sorry, just hang on. Can you use the We haven't got all day, Glenn Meister. <laughs> Glenn, we're live. We're live on, on YouTube here, mate. Jesus. You think, the mayor's on a camel. You think... Hang, hang on. You think you'd know better, mate, to be honest with you. Give me, give Have a talk. <laughs> All right, well, you tell me when you're ready, because we're talking about Matthew Wade and no, how... No, I'm just... I'm in, I'm in... I don't know. This place is called Water. Yeah, the water... The water... Know, the the water, the water, the water front. Yeah, it's a horrible water, place. Waterman's. Water, water, Waterman's. Uh, water, 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 yeah, water. Bogue's Red, mate. That's all you can drink there. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> Go the, go the go the three X red. Yeah, that's, that's better. That's it. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, three X both red, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Same thing. Anyway, how are you, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Hang on, I'm just going to stand outside. I can hear you now. Yeah, I've got some horrible news for you, buddy. Horrible news. Yeah, yeah, that's good. yeah. We've done the interview here with the oh, with, yeah, the, Bolt, with the Bolt with the Meister, and uh, it's it turns out, mate, that he's a Hawthorne supporter. That's great news. How good is that? <laughs> Does he want to lift up tomorrow? It, it you gets, want to come up with me? Well, he's, 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 he is going up there anyway, but he's going up to play. Oh, okay. He's going up to play. He's going up to play eight ball. No, he's not. Huh. But um, mate, he's got a twin brother, and uh, he yeah. goes for Collingwood. <laughs> True story, oh, Coggy Locks. He's got a twin brother. What? He goes for Collingwood, oh. and he still owes me a bloody carton. Well, he must have big story. <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! Eric, tell him the story. <laughs> He heavy. He's my brother. What happened in North Melbourne? The North Melbourne breakfast. Now, oh, my twin brother at the North Melbourne breakfast um, on the um, 
Today show, what is it called? Yeah. No, the sunrise. Sunrise. sunrise yes. No, not sun. <laughs> morning show. Morning. <laughs> Kim and Dave ordered that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah so so he, they wanted to go to the North Melbourne. The urinal, and they've got to go. Now. It, it was, all right, all right. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Waterman's. 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 Happy hour. Yeah. Right. Happy hour at six, probably five dollars, six dollars for a big bloody, you know what it is. That's happy days, mate. And you know what I want, don't you? You want your VV. Like that. No, no, I had Vogue's premium at ten dollars. Glenn wants his, Glenn wants his VV. Ten dollars a bloody, yeah, yes, not a stuff, yes, baby. You're a madman. You're a madman. All right, go to the toilet. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> You'll get arrested. Don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> All right. All right, mate. Well, I've got out of it. All right. Talk to you soon, Glenn. You're all right. So anyway, sorry about that, fans. Yes, there you there you go. There's a bit of live uh, live footy for you there. That story. was done. Right now, what's the story all about? Your oh, brother, we can tell the story. Your brother, well, my long, brother. As long as it's not really so rude. So Kim and Dave, this is got no, it's not rude. So he, Kim and Kim and Dave are uh, radio morning shows uh, hosts going back in Tasmania right. here. Hope so anyway, let's see. Whoever can swing the North or North Melbourne song gets free tickets to go. Out we come, out we come, out we come to play. Okay. Just for recreation's sake to pass the time away. Lots of fun, heaps of fun, enjoy yourself today. <laughs> North Melbourne boys are hard to beat when they come back to play. So join in the chorus and sing it one and all. Join in the chorus. North Melbourne's on the ball. Good old North Melbourne. Yep. Kevin's your story. I'm now a Brisbane Lions supporter. Let's go. <laughs> so, Brisbane Lions, Brisbane Lions. Between brother, stands up on the chair. Dave comes over, mm -hmm. puts some more off, and he goes, Good old Collingwood forever. Oh, and he's grabbing all the work phone he's got. And he's still singing. <laughs> this is a bloody fart. Yeah. <laughs> this is the morning breakfast show. <laughs> it's at the Grand Chancellor. That's that's that's, <laughs> that's all a, North Film supporters and they weren't even playing. That's a Collingwood supporter for you right there, <laughs> isn't it? Hey? 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 And you reckon I'm a mad bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. Right. So cricket. Matthew Wade doesn't get selected. They put Peter Hanscom in. He See goes for he goes for four. Glenn, go to the toilet. And um <laughs> No, don't do that. No, no, no. I no, do no, really no, need no. to no, no. Yeah, well, no. I know. I'm gonna lock off for a second. Alright, you head off. Corey. I'll be back. I'm just going for a piss. Corey. Corey, jump in. Come on. Come, Come on, in. Colton. Come on out. Come on our sponsor. Yeah. Oh, oh come on, yeah. get in here. Just swapping seats. Sorry, I've got Glenn. It's alright, I've got Glenn. <laughs> so, yes, the. Uh, sorry, this is a bit disjointed tonight, guys, but I hope you're having fun. Because I certainly am. Mate, Corey, grab a seat, buddy. How are you, mate? Not bad, thank you. So, Corey is uh, Corey's garden and landscape, and uh, you've done an amazing job in our front yard, haven't you, mate? I have indeed. You have indeed. Thank you. And yes. you've got plenty going on. Heaps at the moment, yes. Did, uh, did you watch cricket? I didn't have real hope. An hour of it. Yeah. It's very disappointing. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I'm Smith. Smith, amazing job, once again. Um, Kerry, amazing job. I think Starch, uh, Starch, Stark um, helped with a little bit, but uh, they're, they're going crook today about the actual whole format again, saying that New Zealand and England, you know, they, they expected India and Australia to be in it and... Yep. It's gone for a long time, and it shouldn't have gone this long because they hadn't known who who was in the final anyway. So, mm. so yeah, there's a, lot, there's a lot of going on with it. But uh, anyway, England versus New Zealand in the final, mate. Is the this blacks. Go the black of, yeah, we're up. Yeah, yep, yeah. yeah. yeah, we're, we're on New Zealand, hundred yeah. percent, mate. Uh, just quickly, we're we're running out of time. I just wanted to say, Ash Barty bowed out last week. Unlucky, yes. Wimbledon. Um, yeah. Whether it was unlucky or not, how good was it that uh, the media didn't go after her? Yeah. I was surprised. Yes, yes. so was I. I was really so was surprised. I. Poppy syndrome. Yeah. yeah, and she just took it on the chin. She's a champion. Yeah. She took it on the chin and she just said, oh, well, can't win every match. She said, it's just no. a game of tennis. Yeah, That's exactly and I, right. I, and I, I totally agree with her. True sports just, lady. Yeah, really yeah. surprised yes. the media didn't grab hold of that. Yeah. And actually 
Pamela mm. for it. She yeah. she arrived in Sydney this morning. I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but she arrived at the airport. She's back home, and uh, as she's walking through the airport, uh, crowd was you know giving her a clap yeah. and all that sort of stuff. As they should. She's a and, bloody champion. And she's embarrassed, and she's thank you, thank yes. you, yeah. thank yeah. you. So Ash Barty, you are amazing, and you are the two Muppets. You better take a good look at yourself and uh, and have a look at her because yep. you know who I'm talking about. Don't you? We do know indeed them two young boys. Yeah. I'll say it, cur- mm-hmm. Curious and Tomic. Mm. Flogs. Flogs. Mm. Have a look in the mirror and and see how this girl is representing, uh, you know, our country and what she's doing. And she's uh, she's mm. an amazing ambassador <clears throat> for uh, for tennis. So. She is. And for young people wanting to get into the game. I think she's a yeah. good role model. She's yeah. an excellent role model. My word. Yeah, yep. my word. For sure. Um, talking of role models, Serena Williams. She's playing Simona Halep. She's the gun, I think, who beat... Um, whoa. Uh, um, Barton. Right. <laughs> so she's going to play the final. She may win her 24th Grand Slam title. That is, well. that is very amazing. Huge. What do you think about that? Talking before about the bold about money in sport and, and pool. 24 Grand Slams. So what's a Grand Slam worth? Two, two million, three million? You reckon? Plus endorsements? Just crazy. Depends how good looking she is. What's Serena Williams? <clears throat> what am I saying? Let's talk yeah. basketball. Oh, you got something? <laughs> Let's talk. Yeah. Ben, yeah. Benny Simmons. Yeah. Benny Simmons. Mm. Let's talk basketball. Benny yeah. Simmons has. Uh, he's. I don't know if he has he signed or not. I not don't quite yet. He hasn't no, yet. But he's looking at a big, big pay packet. Five hundred and fifty million over five mm. years or something. That is absurd. Unfair. You, what are your thoughts on that, mate? Overpaid. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant sportsman, but overpaid. When, Too much money in sports these days. When you can, except for eight, except for eight, plenty of that. <laughs> but you, but you know, you look, you, you look at a, you look at a Buddy Franklin or something like that. You know, good Sydney player, never played for Hawthorne. But um, Buddy Franklin gone, you know, nine million over. What was that? Nine years, so a million a year. Was that right, yeah. Buddy Franklin? Buddy Who's that? Yeah. I, I just remember him for the 10 <laughs> goals he kicked against North Melbourne. Yeah. No, I think it was 14. But anyway. But we won't talk about that. No. But, you know, so we're talking very small figures for, for Australian sports people or for, you know, for people who aren't, you know, American sports or, or tennis. Tennis, golf and, and basketball is just out of control. What about the um, the basketball here in Tassie? It looks is looking pretty good. If that guy is. goes yes. ahead. Yeah, they, down might, the deck, they yeah. might have their own team. Mm. We've got the... the is it the Blue Derby? The mountain bike mm. track? We could have the, the basketball mm. stadium. Things are looking up. Mm. Things are looking up. But things going well on Tassie. We just need sponsors for 8-Ball. Come there, on. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Get on. Get on the bandwagon for 8-Ball. All right. Well, that's all we pretty much have time for tonight. We're, we're on an hour. And who is, who's playing the footy tonight? Does anyone know? Go the Hawks! No, it's not too nice. <laughs> it's not too nice. It's no West, bombers. West Coast versus oh, Collingwood. Melbourne. We'd have to go yeah. mates of yours. Hey, mate's yours. We'll have to go... Glenn's back. We'll have to go West Coast for Glenny. Yeah, we're not going Collingwood. No. Are no. we? No. Would you go Collingwood, Glenn? No. No. No, no he I'm... wouldn't. And Sydney Swans, Carlton. We're going to go Carlton. We have to go Carlton. Uh, Hawthorne, Frio. Yeah, we're going to go Hawthorne home. Yeah! Yes. Home. Essendon, North Melbourne. Guys, Bombers. where are we? Bombers. Hey! Who's, who's On the Bombers. North Melbourne. Cracking jokes. And that's at Marvel. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. North Melbourne. Essendon and, uh, sorry, Gold Coast and Adelaide. Well, Carl, Carl. where's Gold Coast, Carl? Yeah, let's go Adelaide. Adelaide. <laughs> Geelong against St Kilda. I think Geelong are coming back. Yep. Richmond, GWS. Back. Who's going to win that? Well, you'd have to go, I reckon, Richmond. GWS. Richmond. Got, I'm going Richmond. Enough. What are you, Glenn? Yeah, Richmond. Richmond. Well, there you go. Two against yeah. one. Mm. Two against one. Richmond. Oh. Bulldogs <laughs> against Melbourne. I'm on the dogs for that one. Bulldogs. No, yeah, go no, Gorn's Gorn's back. Go go Big, Mac, Big Max, he's back. Port Adelaide versus Brisbane at Adelaide. Ooh. Brisbane. That's a hard match. Port Brisbane. Brisbane. Match. Yeah. Hard match. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Well, yeah, go Brisbane. They'll, they'll, the they'll submit Brisbane. at Adelaide Oval. They'll submit a top four, I reckon, if they win that. Yep. Anyway. That's a nice All right, guys. Tomorrow at the TCA. What Dose was that, sorry? Dose are over Dose uni tomorrow at the TCA. Oh, I missed that again, sorry. Dose are over uni at the TCA. Dose are over uni. He's Dose on is useless. Mm, That's what he said. Bit of local who's, sport who's, there. Who's yeah. Carl against North Melbourne? Right? Not, not me. Essendon? Yes. Yeah. In actual fact, I said North Melbourne last week would win by 50 Essendon. points. They only won by 40 points. This week, they'll win by, <laughs> they'll win by 30. <laughs> Use him. All right, guys. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Audience, thanks for coming in, guys. I hope you had a good time. The Bolt. Thank you, mate. Ah, hey, thanks for coming my in, My pleasure. Thanks, thanks Corey, for ringing me in Sydney and saying... I only flew in tonight. 
Yes. I flew in for this interview. There you go. <laughs> Lovely. Sportsman. This, this is how we do it. This, this is, this is, is how we we're Tasmanian. This, this is why we love life. Sponsor, yeah. of, sponsor of the Friday Friday. Thanks, mate. Thanks for coming in and, uh, yep. and getting on the, behind the camera, mate. Appreciate it. Lovely. That. All right. Have a great weekend, everyone. Cheers. Enjoy the football. Enjoy. Don't forget to watch Alex Peroni, 5.06, quarter past six tomorrow night. Get on it. That's the Friday Frothy. See you next week. Cheers. Bye.